Welcome back. When we left you last, we had just begun our overland adventure from Seward, Alaska, north to the famous Dalton Highway, otherwise known as the Hall Road, and up to Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. 12 vans, 15 days, and a thousand miles. Passing through floods, wildfires, and snow, we lead this amazing group of people on a bucket list adventure of a lifetime. Thank you for joining us on our first annual expedition north to Prudhoe Bay. Take a little break with everybody. Stretch our legs. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, he's probably protecting the nest. He's got a nest over there. We caravaned from Seward here to Anchorage and got all of the stuff done that we needed to do, like showers and laundry, but you guys don't want to see any of that. And now we're stopped at Office Depot to get some raffle tickets. Hopefully get raffle tickets because we have a bunch of cool stuff that we're going to raffle off to everybody that's joined us from Canyon Adventure Vans and Overland Gear Guy and uh, where else do we have stuff from? And Habit Design Works yeah. in Winnebago. In Winnebago, yeah. So we're excited to do these raffles and we want to make sure that we do it in a fair way. So we're going to go find tickets in Office Depot. And then we're getting ready to meet everybody for dinner at one of our favorite restaurants here in Anchorage. It's 907 Ale House. And the owner there has been gracious enough to let us stay overnight there. So we are also excited about that. So as much as we're not too happy to be back in Anchorage. Yeah, we were just talking about how high our anxiety is dealing with traffic again after being gone out in the middle of nowhere for a week. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're ready to get back on the road, but tonight will be a great time to just celebrate, be together as Revel owners, and tell stories and have a good time together. Yep. All right, let's go see if they have raffle tickets. And they have raffle tickets. Yay! I was really excited to find these because we didn't know what we were going to do if we couldn't. We were going to do names in a hat. This just makes it a lot more official. And I'm excited to give all of this stuff away. But first, we're going to go get water and that's it. I think we just need water and then we're ready to go to dinner. Yep. I'm hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> we didn't eat lunch today. I don't think we ate today, babe. We just kind of been going and going. Mm. We haven't eaten today. Like coffee. Coffee. All right, that's not enough. Welcome to Anchorage, you guys. This is typical five o'clock traffic on Tudor Road. You know, we're all filled up on water here at Essential One. Now we're ready to hit the restaurant. We're about an hour early, but I think we have enough to do once we get there to get organized and set stuff up and get ready for some fun tonight. And here, we came together again to share stories about our day in Anchorage taking care of business and give away Winnebago swag, enjoy food and drinks and atmosphere where we could walk back to our vans and either sleep or continue the party. 
which we did long into the night. All right, that was a successful night here at 907 Ale House, and they let us stay in their parking lot overnight, so we slept really good last night. We did. Uh, thank you so much for allowing us to use this space, 907 Ale House. Great food, like always. No complaints. It's 10 o'clock, so that means it's time to roll out, and we are headed up towards Talkeetna. So we're doing, we're headed up to Talkeetna and then we're gonna to go to our boondocking spot. A lot of people have tours booked out of Talkeetna. So it should be another amazing day. Let's go do it. Let's do it. Well, I had to use my pocket knife to open it up. It's like jammed in there. Picking up our speed a little bit. We hit the beautiful Parks Highway with the fireweed in full bloom and a sense of unity, community, and togetherness overcame us as we looked in the rear view mirror and enjoyed the two hour drive north to Talkeetna. We stopped here at the Speedway Express at the Talkeetna cutoff, and this is where we stop for fuel and get groceries at our favorite little store called Cubbies. A few of our group members have tours booked for today at 4 p.m., and right now it's noon, and they're not sure if their flights are gonna be going out today because of the cloud cover. We weren't able to see Denali as we were driving in, so we're not sure if it's going to clear up enough to be able to see Denali today but a few people are going into Talkeetna and a group of us are headed up to our boondocking spot along the Susitna River. So now we're gonna go get some groceries. Looks like Jim went and got some ice and we're ready to get back on the road. Let's get some groceries. There's Charles. He doesn't look too busy. I think Mr. Bill lost his dog. Ember's like, do you want me to go get him?
Remy seen her first miss. Did you find that? I wasn't recording, so do it again. <laughs> no, do it again. <laughs> One more time. We've been hanging out here on the river pretty much all day. Some of our group came back from Talkeetna and of course, as we expected, or kind of thought might happen, the weather made it so they can't go out on their flights today. So we're all just hanging out. Enjoying the rain. <laughs> we got creative again with the tarp. Now we're about to do a drawing for one of the Inhabit Design Works outdoor mats. So we have some raffle tickets that we were so excited about earlier and these guys are pumped because they are excited to win that outdoor mat. So we're going to go gather everybody up and have a drawing. Let's do this. It's going to be fun. This is the quarantine van. It, it's interesting to see how the Australian does Alaskan. <laughs> so probably about 6 30 ish we're going to try to do a drawing for uh, oh, cool. inhabit design works outdoor okay. all right we're going to start ticket prices at 200 dollars. <laughs> no just fine all right so it's going to be one ticket per van that way it's fair for each van. person yeah all right if you want to be involved in the drawing You pick the rest on What are the, the okay, at the bottom? Wherever okay, you want to okay. take both and then mission. <laughs> you gotta take them both and then you drop one in a hat. That way you know it went in there. All right. Mark. Oh, so you're putting the pressure on me? Yeah, buddy. Pick a good one. Pick a good, Pick a good one. one. 
Do I gotta like spin around a few times? <laughs> Close my eyes. Really good. What's our number? <laughs> this is for an outdoor <laughs> mat. <laughs> Big money. Go low, go low. And the winner says, Mark, all right! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have my glasses, you'll have to read it. <laughs> Last three, three, four, nine. Woohoo! Oh! Oh! Woo! Right, nice Chris. job, Chris. Nice job, Chris. Jesus. <laughs> hugs. Hugs. <laughs> That's awesome. And How are you going to cool show it to him? You got to pull it out. This one. Go pull it out and give it to him. Is you get a choice of color. Ooh, do you want them. dark like what we have, or do you want a tan color? I have the gray in the van. The the gray one. Like the dark, the dark ones? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sweet. Awesome. Nice. So I also have steaks in the van for you, so don't let me forget to pull them out. Nice. Wow. In habit. It's going to be perfect. Jackson's going to love it. I like that a lot. Yeah. All right. So tomorrow. We're going to be doing Petersville Road. We sent a little bit of information in the WhatsApp group. Okay, It is a technical off-road um, experience. Although I would say it's like a level two. Some may feel it's like a level four or five. But it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay? We don't know what the weather's going to be like. It could be like this. If it is like this, then we could encounter some mud along the way. And I'll let you know if we got a flipping drive or not if we start slipping we'll say let's go to four wheel drive there are parts of the road that become very narrow up on a mountainside and then we come down the other mountainside into just a beautiful view of whatever we can see at that time depending on the weather so normally it's denali but yeah normally it's, we're on the south side of denali for this one so it is back country it is bear country we will have bear spray and our firearms with us. Um, We're doing some water prepared. crossings. There are water crossings if we choose to do them. There's a couple different routes that we do. Um, and we probably won't do them all at the same time. So we'll say, hey, if you want to go up here, we're going to be in radio contact with you. You could go to the end of this road. It's going to lead to a dead end road. And the reason we don't want to take all the vans at the same time is because if you have to turn around or if you choose to turn around, or if we all choose to turn around, it becomes very, very difficult. So it basically, there's one shot where you do multiple water crossings and you dead end down at a river and we can lead a couple people back there. However you guys want to do it, we're more than happy to do that. But I think we're going to try to cross one of the rivers and that's where we're going to set up our main camp. And then as people want to go explore a little bit more, then we'll take them out from there. So tomorrow will be a little bit later start. We'll start at like noon so that everyone could just kind of relax here while you have internet and cell phone service, etc. Once we're in the back country, there will be nothing. Okay? No more phone service, so it'll just be a quiet, enjoyable us.
and then that way you don't have to mess with those. What's going on here? Air filter uh, change. Aerendectomy. Aerendectomy. <laughs> you have all the right tools you need and... <laughs> we'll see. Duct tape, that's all you need. There you go, really. so glue. And a, and a clamp. And a clamp. <laughs> I take it you've done this before? Me? No, I have not. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm under expert guidance. <laughs> or he's just making crap up and... He's charging him $200 an hour. <laughs> Yeah, that would suck. That should just pop off. Stop. There's a little uh, <laughs> hard job. Cups in the back there. See how this thing hits right there? Yeah. We'll pop that right off. This stuff. How does it go in there? And then just be careful not to pull out the wires. Wires. Yeah. Is, does it pull out? It um, I think it actually it, it goes into the piece. I just put the new one in. Look at that. Yeah. It looks pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. Or you did the jar bell. It's a tough one. Yep. It'll go yep. up in there and then... Oh man, this is nasty. Like, I mean, yeah. All the oh, yeah, dirt and sand crap yeah. in here. Bugs. <laughs> you, you, it's a reflection on your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's trial and error, right? He was I mean, making he go, I'm over here like trying... He, how do I scoop it all into the corner? And I'm like, he, he's I just take this thing out. He had gone beyond, I, I can screw something up, so I just let him go. But it just pops. The screen just pops up. Ours. Gross. That's it. We got all kinds of bugs and stuff going on. I'd say we need a new one of those. The one that's actually good. I keep hearing different things that there's. I don't know. I usually. I, I haven't had any codes, knock on wood. So, what have we learned today? There is immense power when a group of people with similar interests come together to share. Share their journey, experiences, and goals with two people, such as us. The beauty in this community is we are able to share our love for our beautiful state and guide others in a way that allows individuals to have their own unique Alaskan experience. Next week, we push north towards Fairbanks, Alaska and take on Petersville Road for a true Alaskan backcountry experience. To support our channel, press those like and subscribe buttons to follow along with us on this journey. And until we see you again, stay happy, healthy, and safe. We'll see you again soon.